Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install mods for Minecraft. So as you can see here, I have my Minecraft launcher opened here. And over on the left hand side of the play button, I have something here on this drop down menu that says Forge. This is what we're going to be utilizing today to download and install mods. It's absolutely free and I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So. First things first, open up a new browser window. And what I want you to do is I want you to type in uh, in Google or your search engine of choice the word the words Minecraft and then Forge, F-O-R-G-E. And then just click on the first link here that says files.minecraftforge.net and that'll be this link or page right here. As you can see, there are a ton of versions of Forge. The one that you want to choose is the version of Minecraft that you want to run. Now, I will say this. Uh, you can only download and install mods that are on the exact same version of Minecraft, or in this case, Forge, that you are running, okay? All Forge does is it acts as a middleman as the server, or not server, but the service that provides the ability to download uh, and install these mods and just make it very easy for you. So I already have 1.19 downloaded. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna download another version now. So I'm going to just select the version of Forge or Minecraft that I want to run. And then as you can see here where it says download latest, I want to click on the installer here. Once I click on that, it's going to uh, pop up a whole bunch of different ads and things that we don't want. So wait a few seconds as you see it in the upper right hand corner here until the uh, skip button comes available and then just click on skip. And then you should see the forge file downloaded here in the lower left hand corner. If you don't open up your downloads folder and locate it there. So what I'm going to do, I always do this to make things easier. I go ahead and minimize or reduce the size of my browser and I click on the arrow and go to show in folder. And then I do basically the very easy thing of just clicking and dragging that over to my desktop. All right, now you have Forge installed, dragged to your desktop so you know exactly where it is. Hop back over to your browser and you need to make sure that you have Java downloaded and installed in the most recent version of Java to make sure that this process works smoothly. So just type in Java download and then click on the java.com link and then you'll see something that looks like this where you can download Java for Windows. Go ahead and download Java, go through the process, click through the prompts, make sure you install it via the exe file and you should be good to go. Now, to make sure that you're good to go, minimize your browser, go back over to where you see right here, the Forge file here on my desktop. You want to just right click on that file as I'm doing here and you want to go to open with and then if you've done this correctly, you should see something here that says Java. If you click on this file or double click the file and it doesn't open the Forge installer, that means that you have not done something correctly with the Java install. So go ahead and click on Java like I'm going to do now. Uh, and then by doing that, I will see something that looks like this here, uh, the Forge installer system. And basically all you will do here is you will just go through this entire process, make sure you put where you want it to uh, save here, and then leave this clicked on to install client, and then go to OK. And then that will download and extract all the files needed to install Forge on your Minecraft launcher. So go ahead and wait through this and it shouldn't take too long uh, depending on the power uh, or speed of your machine. So we'll go ahead and, and skip this now. All right, once done, you should see something that says complete successfully installed client profile Forge. Just click OK and you should be good to go. Now, when you hop back over to Minecraft, you will probably have to click the drop down menu. You'll probably have to close out of Minecraft and reopen the launcher to see the exact version that you've downloaded here. All right, once we have Forge installed, once you've opened up the launcher and you go to the drop down menu here and you see that Forge is indeed installed, we've got to get a mod. So the easiest way of doing this is going to a number of different sites. The one that I recommend is called Curse Forge. Uh, you can just type in Curse Forge Minecraft and then the option here where it says Mods Minecraft Curse Forge, click on that and that's going to bring you to a list of a ton of mods that uh, Curse Forge has available to you. Um, and so again, going back to what I said earlier, you have to make sure that the version of the mod matches up with the installer version of Forge of Minecraft that you're running. That's a very big point to emphasize here in the tutorial. All right, next we'll go and click the drop down menu here where it says all mods. 
Uh, I only want to select mods that are of the version of Forge that I have. So I'll go ahead and go ahead and select 1.19 and then that'll just present to me mods that I can select. All right, so you can go here, you can see the different uh, mods that you'll have here. Just for simplicity's sake, I'll download this one here that is called Journey Map. I'll go ahead and click the Download File button. Now, you're going to see something on CurseForge if you're using this site that says Install with the CurseForge app. I have the CurseForge app installed, and I'm going to open it now to show you exactly what that looks like. You can download the CurseForge app that will allow you to manage and install the mods this way, but the only problem is with Minecraft is that it only allows you to do mod packs unless you want to kind of do some workarounds, which is like a group of mods. I don't really like doing that uh, unless I'm doing something that I know I want to use this specific mod pack, but this is what that looks like if you're curious about that. All right, so back to our tutorial here. What I want to do is go here to the mod that I want and just click the download file, make sure it is the version that I want to do and then wait a few seconds because they're trying to emphasize that they want you to download the CurseForge app. And then once it has downloaded, you should see it here in your downloads in the lower left-hand corner of your browser. Or if you don't, you should open up your downloads folder and see it there. And then what I'm going to do to make it easier on us here to see is I'm going to uh, minimize my browser here and I'm going to show in folder. And I'm just going to drag that over to my desktop so I know exactly where it is located on my machine. All right. Now that we've done this, I recommend going back over to the Minecraft launcher and closing out completely of Minecraft and reopening. So I'm going to do that now. And then once I reopen the Minecraft launcher here, I will see over on the drop down menu, you probably are on the latest release. You need to select the Forge right here, the drop down where we, what we just installed. And then what you want to do is just open and launch Minecraft by clicking the play button like you normally would. So go ahead and wait for that to load here. All right. And once Minecraft has loaded, you will see a new button here that says mods. If we click on that button there and we can see we're running this version of Minecraft, this version of Forge, you will then be able to see uh, a little button here that says open mods folder. If we go here and select on open mods folder, that's going to open up a new file explorer kind of tab or browser here. So then what you want to do is find that downloaded mod file, which right here is mine on my desktop, like I said, and you just want to click and hold and you want to drag that over to the mods folder. So once you've done that and you see it in, kind of in the mods folder, go ahead and hop back into Minecraft. And then sometimes what you can do is you can go to done here and open back mods. But normally what you have to do is quit the game and then relaunch Minecraft in order for that to come up. So we're going to do that now. All right. And then once you open Minecraft back up, if you followed this tutorial step by step and done everything correctly, you should be able to go to the mods button here and see that right here is our new mod. So right here, if we have that mod selected, we can go here and we know that we have that one installed. And once you've checked and made sure that the mod is successfully installed, as you can see that it is here, you'll just create a new world and you should see down here how many mods are loaded. So for me, it is three and you can just count yours, make sure that is correct. Go to single player and start a new map or a new game and you should be good to go. If you have any questions about how to do any of this, please put that in the comment section below. Don't forget to always like, share, and subscribe if this video helps you out, and I will see you guys in the next video.